It's the Daily Dog. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for being with me today on Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. I hope that you are safe from ghouls and goblins and all the things that go bump in the night. Uh, as we start this week, Halloween happens to be on a Monday this year and we are making it a metal Monday edition. And I just had to, my friends. There is a song that is named after this holiday, and I did not do it last year. We did actually for my sort of Halloween episode last year, we did Hocus Pocus by the band Focus, and that was a really fun episode. But this year, I just can't stay away from Halloween by the band Halloween. And I'm gonna to listen to it for the first time, and I'm glad that you are with me. So I have reacted to this band's music before. I reacted to their song, Keeper of the Seven Keys, uh, from, uh, from Halloween, but that was in June of last year. And I have not heard any of their music since. So now we are returning to this, uh, classic German heavy metal band with their topical song for, uh, the day. So I'm excited to get going. This song Halloween is from Keeper of the Seven Keys part one, their second album released back in 1987. They produced a music video for this uh, song, but they cut the song from a whole 13 minutes down to five. So I don't know what that is all about. It must be because MTV only wanted five minute music videos back in the day. Uh, but for our purposes uh, uh, today, we're gonna be taking a look at the entire original song, the, the entire 13 minute version. So we've got Michael Kiske on vocals, and this is also on this album, his first appearance. With the band, we've got Kai uh, Hansen on guitar and backing vocals, Michael uh, Vykoth on uh, guitar, keyboards, and backing vocals, Markus Groskoff is on bass and backing vocals, and Ingo Schwichtenberg is on the drums. So let's take a look, y'all, and see what is up with Halloween from the band Halloween. Off we go. Well, that's some distortion. I was ready for it. I was I was expecting the tritone. Okay. Dum, yum, bum, then they give it to you there. That's an E. B. A sharp, <laughs> sinister little riff there. Woo! Setting up. Okay. Yada. Go a little faster. I remember his voice. How can you not? Little ghosts are making lots of noise. So we're going trick or treating, y'all. It's a masquerade. Watch out, beware. Listen. Take care. Little halftime there. I like it. In the streets of Halloween, and then into double time. Now I do is keep In the streets of Halloween, I'm not as big a fan of the double time feel, especially in the drums. I think he's Russian. Up they go. Dang. Ah, it's Halloween. I can't even try to mimic that sound vocally. That's a high E. Pretty sure. It's Halloween tonight. Okay. 
they're waiting for the big, big pumpkin to arise? They're talking about... Hang on a second. Hang on a second. They're talking about Charlie Brown and Linus. I did not expect a reference to the Peanuts gang from a German heavy metal band. But there you go, my friends. It's the Great Pumpkin tonight. How about that? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, off we go. Subtonic. Back to back to tonic there. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the. I think it's too much. The streets of Halloween, on Halloween, the spirits will arise. Make your choice, it's hell or paradise. Can't, can't do it, y'all. <laughs> wow. All right. I've got my candy. I'm ready. Oh, that's cool. There's parallel thirds. With the leading tone in there as well. And there's magic in the air. Right. There's magic in the air. I'm enjoying this for the most part, y'all. Really over the top. And this is the longest song from this album. It's their epic tune from this from this album at over 13 minutes long. Off into a solo, pretty bitchy solo, y'all. Amazing vocals. Is it real or is it a dream? What's going on? Trembling legs, you open the door. What's going on? Went up a step. Sounds like two guitars, dueling guitars, and dueling keys. Darkness. Whoa. Where am I now? Is there anybody out there? What is it? Am I in heaven? Or is it So has, ha has he been abducted? See a light coming, it's coming nearer. It's shining on me. Woo! I like it. It's really proggy. There's some different sections in this. 
there's still an F sharp. They went up from E to F sharp. There's flat six. Back to one. Back down to E. The nine. Back. Fascinating. They keep going back and forth between E and F sharp. Tests are a different color. I am the one, dooms in my hands. I think it's a different person speaking. Now make your choice. Redeemed or enslaved. He is the snake. Is this the devil? You knocked on the wrong house, y'all. He's the corrupter of man. He's being tempted. I'll show you passion and glory. I'll give you power and abundance. Hey, he's resisting. I will fight for all mankind's deliverance and peace of mind. There's a five chord. Now they're both playing together. So it's a struggle back and forth. Who's gonna win? Close to the end, y'all. What's gonna happen? I'm still not a big fan of the double time and the percussion. this before. Watch out, beware, listen, take care. Get me in the mood. It's amazing vocals. He's up on an E and a higher pitch, too. I think up on a high G.
classic song. I'm glad I did this. Very topical for today, for sure. Five or do they resolve it? Tonight. Tonight. Fun ending, too. Well, what a ride that was. I uh, I hope that your trade tables uh, are still in their upright positions, my friends, because that was that was quite a trip around the uh, the neighborhood. Can we talk about uh, this story a little bit? This was uh, a lot more. Um, in depth and interesting uh, than I think I was expecting. I really, really I enjoyed the uh, uh, the intensity of it. I, I mentioned it a couple times. Whenever the the percussion would go into the double time, pow, 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 I felt like the snare was rushing the um, the overall tempo, and it kind of got me out of the feeling of what they were doing. I I, I almost wish they had done. A different uh, rhythmic structure in through there, and I really liked the the opening riff, that really sinister riff that uses the tritone, where they went from the E up to the B and then down to the A sharp uh, at the beginning. Uh, once they got away from that and into the song, I really didn't hear a lot of that come back, and I think it could have been very interesting, at least from like a, a recurring riff. Uh, point of view that could have uh, really undergirded some of the song as it uh, continued to its conclusion. So in verse one, we get uh, masquerade, masquerade, grab your mask, don't be late. So we're going trick or treating. We're going out on the town, uh, but watch out, beware. And then in, uh, let's see, in verse two, uh, we talk about uh, Charlie Brown and Linus and the Great Pumpkin. And the kids are just going to say it's a stupid lie, but we know better. We, we know better, right? Uh, that was pretty interesting. And then it gets into uh, the interesting stuff. Uh, let's see. Listen now, we are calling you. There's magic in the air. Um, black as night, full of fright. You'll be missing the day. Uh, what will be here very soon? Changing your way. A knock at your door. Is it real or a dream? On trembling legs, you open the door. And, and you scream. <laughs> so you get kind of abducted, I think, here. Darkness, where am I now? Is there anybody out there? What's happened? Is it heaven or is it hell? And he gets tempted. It's a temptation story. You know, are you going to play tricks on people or are you going to uh, give people their treats? I'll show you passion and glory. I'll give you power and abundance. And then we're realizing he is the snake. He is the corrupter of man. And then uh, uh, our, our hero here uh, resists. Save me from the evil one. Give me strength to carry on. I will fight for all mankind's deliverance and peace of mind. And uh, the one of the cool things in through this narrative is I think we get dueling guitars, right? In one of those situations, we got... Uh, like they would uh, pass a riff from one to the other. And I think one was like an E and one was up in F sharp and they were just battling against each other. And then they came back uh, uh, together a little bit later on and they were both like playing at the same time. So it's, it's kind of fun musically to see how they are um, setting this, uh, this conflict, this battle between good and evil. Uh, and how they are setting that with, with how the guitars play against each other. That was a lot of fun. I'm glad that we picked this one. Friends, a lot of people have been telling us, you have to do this one. Are, are you sure that you don't, that, that, are, are you hearing us? It's it's a song called Halloween, and the the day is Halloween day. I mean, how could you not? <laughs> so uh, this was fun. I think it worked great for a, uh, a Halloween episode that happens to fall on a Monday for our Metal Monday series. So thanks y'all for hanging out with me today. Have a great Halloween. Stay safe out there. Don't take yourself too seriously. And uh, uh, if you happen to get tempted or knock at the wrong door, uh, just just come on now. Uh, fight, fight for 
uh, truth and justice and the right stuff, right? Say no to all of that other craziness. <laughs> <laughs> it's a PSA from good old Doug here. So thanks y'all for hanging out with me today on Halloween. We'll see you next time on another edition of the Daily Doug.